Hello. I'm making a quadcopter and I figured it'd be kind of cool if I tried to document it. Um, a little bit about the project. It's Arduino based. Uh, kind of the first uh, major project I've done with Arduino. I've done a little bit of the, you know, the sample things and everything, but the first major thing I've ever done. Uh, kind of the first project I've ever done where I've used mostly new components. Usually I use uh, things from old circuit boards and whatnot, uh, and just old electronics trying to figure, just trying to make it uh, without having to pay anything, but this time I actually shelled out almost 200 bucks. Uh, but, um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be Arduino based. I'm going to use uh, a fake Arduino Mega for the uh, for the brain of the quadcopter and an Arduino Uno for the controller. So, this Arduino Uno here I've actually had for about a year. And uh, I got it from Radio Shack. I think that was $35, but it came with a free soldering iron with a sale, so it wasn't too bad. This uh, Arduino Mega, well, it's actually a fake one I got from Hobby King. Uh, it was $17. It's not revision 3 because it doesn't have the extended header, which kind of stinks. Because uh, it makes the I squared C a little bit harder for controlling, for getting the information from the inertial measurement unit. But $17 instead of 65 Yeah, I'll get the fake one. Though the branding doesn't really make it obvious that it's fake, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. Well, that doesn't really matter too much. This here is the the inertial measurement unit, as you hopefully can see there. The SDA and SCL. Uh, that's how it communicates with it. Um, I still. I've only been able to access the gyroscope, but I'm hoping that the reason for that is that I just have the wrong addresses for the, the I squared C for the different chips on here. There, that's a barometer and then it has an accelerometer, gyroscope, and electronic compass, magnetometer, whatever you want to call it. Then here are the RF mo the serial RF modules. Uh, the, this, these two came together, and they were thirty bucks. I haven't quite figured out how to use these yet, um, but hopefully this will. I'll get that figured out. This over here is the serial to USB that came with that, so you can uh, plug it into a computer and program the frequencies and whatnot. But they they should be on the same frequency already. Um, unfortunately, I've only been able to find the software for uh, Windows with that, and I use uh, I use Linux, as you can see. But uh, now let's get to the stuff that really is interesting. This here is the propeller, or the the motor and propeller. Uh, Obviously, I need four of those, and this one came out of that box, and those three boxes have the other ones in it. Uh, so it's just a, essentially the, the cheapest turnigy motor, the, the, the cheapest motor I could find that had the, the right specs that I, uh, I calculated I wanted. And then I have a, a 20 amp speed controller and oh where's my battery here we go I got a zippy 1.8 amp hour 3 cell uh, lithium polymer so that makes it 11.1 volts and a nice little voltage alarm for when the, the voltage goes too low because if the voltage goes too low, then you can't charge these back up. So, so far, all I've done is I've played around with the with the Mega, making sure it all worked and whatnot. 
and with the speed controller. And then I went ahead and uh, this is a bracket for shelves that um, I just had lying around. And I just took some wire, went through the holes, and twisted it up so it was nice and tight. Uh, the shaft going through there is a little annoying, but luckily it has some holes like that that I can just stick that through. And with just the wire, it, it's, it's on there pretty strong. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and connect all the, the other uh, bullet connectors to the wires. Because the, the motors didn't have the bullet connectors soldered onto them already, which was really inconvenient, but it uh, doesn't really matter a whole lot, because it doesn't, I mean, oh well, it doesn't take a whole lot to put it back on. And that, that's about it. Um, you can see I have some Arduino things open right now. I'm going to try to get it all working out uh, by the end of summer. This is kind of my project because all the other stuff that I had planned for summer kind of fell through. But hopefully I can get this done and I can learn a bunch about programming. Uh, that, that's going to be the, the, the biggest thing. I kind of wish I would have taken some programming classes before, but <laughs> too late now. Um, that's about it. Um, like I said, I got most of this stuff from Hobby King. Uh, this I got from eBay. Uh, no, that I got from DF Robot, I think. This I got from eBay for about $15. Um, and all the rest of it was from Hobby King.